Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, I am making some really fun um, embellishments today. So um, a lot of times I have in the past, I don't know if I have any here on my desk, I have made some different paper clusters. I'm trying to see if I have any here. Um, and, and shown you different ideas of how to make um, some different ways to use up your paper scraps. And so today I started playing with some fabric and then some of the lace and things that I just um, got when I was out um, thrifting and at the antique stores. And I also have a huge collection of beautiful vintage buttons. And so anyway, I just started making some out of fabric and I thought, okay, this is so fun. And then I even started thinking that I could mount some of these or sew the last layer um, as a piece of that packing paper um, that we have um, from our online shopping um, or that come in our packages. And so I've done, you know, different ones. And then I thought, well, okay, well, what, what am I going to do with them? And, and so I just did some easy um like journaling cards or pieces of ephemera um, to show you what a pop they're, they're going to make in our journals. And um, I haven't really thought about this necessarily being a junk journal idea book video, but maybe it will be. We'll just turn it into that. How's that? Here on the fly, I'll just make a decision that we're going to put this in our um, junk journal idea book because I think this is going to just make some of our pages look absolutely beautiful um you know i was just thinking you, know, you could even have it hang over some if you want to have some nice um lace or fluff out you know i really like how this one turned out it could be a bookmark but i'm thinking of it like you know as a journaling card or something and it certainly could fit in the correct pocket um in your journal right could fit right in there like that and look beautiful um they're not too too chunky depending on the button you choose so um we'll make a few and then we'll put some in the idea book so that we can remember in the future so um again i just went through my i have fabric um that I've gotten in different places and just little bits and pieces. And then I have all that pretty lace and things um, that I used. Use whatever you have. And if you don't, you can, you know, you can make these with paper. And I've, I've done that so many times. And then you just sew a button on them. So I hope you'll join me and use what you have on hand. Um, I just think they are looking so pretty with all these different layers. I even made little itsy bitsy ones, a big one, and then a bunch kind of, I don't know, just a small to medium size. So I'll show you what I did. Um, and then I've already prepped a few tags and things to, um, to put them on. So we'll keep that aside. So if you're going to use a piece of paper, um, and I kind of like mine having paper because I tend to glue mine paper to paper. Um, but it's not necessary, but I'm going to use a little piece of, uh, packing paper. Okay. And then, you know, whatever lace, whatever fabric, and you know, it was hard to cut up this doily, but I did it and I'm committed now. So we're going to keep going and I'm using all of it. You know, I'm using the larger pieces and I'm also taking, um, some just from the edging we'll just get a piece and i'm even using just a piece that small i think i'm gonna get a piece of this yellow and i believe this was like a um tablecloth or something but what i've been having fun is i used um some of this trim here along the edge almost like a piece of ribbon um kind of like you know, like this, and you could trim it off some, but like a little piece of ribbon to top a tag or something. But then I've also cut out kind of around the flowers and gotten a really cute piece to then put a button in the middle of. So I'm gonna do that too. And it's quite thin, but super easy to cut because of that. All right. There we go. 
I'm not quite sure yet what, what I'm doing with this one, but I'm just going for it. And then, um, you know, some of these I've made quite neutral and others I have used this fabric that has more color to it. Um, again, use whatever you have and whatever looks pretty to you and that speaks to you. This was part of a um, curtain um, that I got at um, the craft consignment store just to use as little pieces of fabric. I'm gonna cut a piece of this. We'll do a couple together, show you some different sh ideas of putting it together. Um, and then it's fun to also just have, you know, some neutral fabric. And I have a lot of this. I use this to help reinforce, like sometimes when I'm making a journal, I'll use it um, to hold the, the spine to the covers, that kind of thing. Um, what else do we wanna grab? I have a piece, yeah. This is interesting. It's like a plaid, a super neutral. Um, and it kind of brings in those gold tones. So that's kind of pretty too. And I just cut them different sizes. And then, you know, I haven't done one where I kind of layered it all up. Um, smaller to larger. I kind of kept them about the same size. Let's see if we like what that looks like. Maybe this will be pretty. Um tucked up under there, maybe like that. And then a little piece of this one across the top. See how I just kind of turned it a bunch of different ways. I don't know, I mean, they, they all look different. This one's gonna end up kind of big. So let me see if I've got, those are actually paper circles. If I've got a button, it's a little bit bigger. It's not really the right color. I have lots of buttons, and I just tossed some randomly on um, my desk before I started filming. I think I want one that kind of keeps this neutral, so in an ivory or a brown, and then we'll do some with a pop of color here in a minute. So if you like these ideas, there we go, we'll use that one, um, and you plan to make some, let me know. Uh, give me, give my video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you're thinking about as far as making some of these. Um, like I said, I'm just having too much fun and wanted to just show you guys. I wasn't planning on actually filming a video today. Um, I was just sitting at my desk and I'm trying to really get organized with my, um, holiday crafting. I'm, um, got a whole plan of journals that I want to have ready and some Christmas gift tags. I've got some digital paper kits I'm working on. I've got the gratitude workshop. I've got all kinds of things happening. And um, then I started making fabric clusters. So there you have it. Um, and thought, well, I need to show you guys what I'm doing. So I do think this will be a good, um, you know, junk journal idea to have in your in your book to remind you of these easy, fun embellishments. And like I said, I like having them, you can add them directly to the page, even in the book. I just looped that to tie a knot. Um, or going ahead and putting them on a journal and card or a tag, you know. Um, it would be fun to just have a little basket of these ready to go. Um, maybe with different fabrics or colors or papers going on. Um, so there, that was it. I mean, it was that easy. And later, if you don't want this much paper, right, like I could tear some of that off so you don't see it as much. I don't know. I kind of liked seeing it there, just a little bit. Didn't need quite so much on there. There's options. And of course, at the end of the day, you could always just tear that paper off if you don't want the paper. So I kind of like the idea of backing it with paper just to make it a little bit easier to glue later. And um, to give it a little more structure. I think that would be fun. Okay, I haven't used this. So let's, let's cut that a little bit at an angle. I think this one needs to be a little more at an angle. 
Um, and again, you could lay these flat, but I'm kind of doing it almost like it's a little piece of ribbon. I wonder if one of my red buttons would look cute on here. It would. All right, so let's grab that. And I just decided to use a pretty neutral thread, but, um, you know, again, you could add color um, by the thread you choose to use, too. That would be um, something fun, perhaps, to do. Whoa. Um, so I'm just sewing this on, just a little button. And um, again, I'm thinking about, I haven't gotten organized enough yet to do it, but I've been thinking about putting a few little kits with some of the vintage fabrics and lace that I was able to pick up. Maybe I'll add um, in the kit a few buttons. <laughs> that might be fun for somebody so that you don't have to maybe get a huge, huge stash and you can try it and see if it's something you like. Cute, right? All right, so it's really that simple. And again, if you don't wanna use fabric, just layer up scraps of paper and sew it on. Or if you don't wanna sew with the fabric, I think you're gonna to have to. Um, I, I guess you could staple fabric. Let's try that. Let's try one where I don't sew and see if we can make it work. We'll do that really quick. Um, we made those two. Let, let's do one more because I just I do want to see if this idea is going to work. So um, again, same idea, same concept. Make this one a little different. Let's find. I don't know. They all, depending on how you layer the fabrics, because I'm kind of using the same fabrics over and over, right? And the button you choose, I think they end up looking different, and what order you put the fabric on. But I'm gonna see, like, can we just do this? And this is like a little, it's a pretty dark circle. Let's get it smaller and then um, let's see if we like it. Oh gosh, my, oh, my circle punch decided to jam on me right then. Hmm. That's not playing nice, but I think we got it. Um, sometimes if you're too close to the edge, it just gets cut up in there. Um, and sometimes I think mine are old and they just get worn out or maybe they get tired. All right, so I may, I think I'm gonna glue that over the staple. All right, so I'm just gonna staple it. And this is kind of how I make my paper clusters all the time. And then we'll glue that instead of sewing a button. Now how, let's use Fabrifix. How easy is that? So you don't even, if you don't want to, have to sew. Um, and I'm gonna use Fabrifix because gluing the paper to the fabric, it'll hold. Whoops. And if you need to see some of the supplies or you want to see some of the supplies I'm using, um, go to the description of the video and there's gonna be quite a few links for you to check out, but one will be to my Amazon storefront. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so I get a few pennies if you end up making a purchase. It's at no cost to you, um, but no pressure to make a purchase. It's just there as a resource for you guys. Um, and you can see the types of adhesive and glue and staples and things that I use if that's of interest. All right, I think that one's just as cute, you know? And of course, I kind of picked a black circle, but you could we could put um, a faux stamp. We could put um, a butterfly, look at this. We could do a butterfly right there. We could um, do one of these kinds of tags in the middle. There's a just, I mean, it, the possibilities really are endless of what we can do. And I'm kind of feeling like now, I don't want to cover up all the color, but I kind of like the idea of a butterfly on there. Why not? Let's just do it. All right, and then we'll add a couple of these to our idea book. Um, like I said, I did go ahead because I was sort of thinking, you know, to show you guys what it, how it could look different. I wanted to do some that were sort of tag shaped. So definitely 
as a tag topper, right? That would work. But wouldn't it be cute to also just kind of put one to the side maybe on a tag? This one's really big. I think it's too big for the tags that we have. But you know, or even like here to this side and you could still put a loop or a topper to that tag. I think those are cute. Now this one is on paper and so I can just use my wet white glue to glue the paper to the paper. So see, see kind of why I was thinking backing them with the paper might be a good idea. Here we go, I love those red buttons. Now this one is just fabric, which is fine. We'll just get out the fabric fix. Um, I still have not made myself one of those cute little things where you can hold your glue upside down like this. Um, there's videos on YouTube of how to make them, that I, and I've watched a bunch of them. <laughs> I just haven't done it yet. Um, but you use like water bottles that you cut or plastic soda bottles, whatever. And um, you can decorate them if you want to, but then um, put them on a base so they're nice and stable and sturdy. And then you can, I guess they say your glue won't ooze out. I don't know. I'm going to make one. If you guys are interested in that or would like to make one with me, let me know if that sounds interesting to you. These little bottles I don't have a problem with. It's really just that fabric fix. Okay, so we're gonna give that time to dry. And then what else? So I have all of these. So like even like a card, like this one, you know, that's decorative, it would be fun to add, add a little embellishment. Why do I keep putting the fabric fix up? If I know I'm gonna do this, I don't know. I'm definitely going to try to remember that I want to make one of those. I have a list of video ideas, and when you guys make requests, I um, add them, you know, to the list. But um, I need to put this on the list so I don't forget. The other thing I know, I've, I've got lots of things hanging out there that people have asked me for, but somebody wanted to see my take on doing a journal um, with a rounded spine and I haven't made one in a while but I've made them before and they're really fun and pretty but there's several different ways to do it so I'm really trying to come up with the one I want to share um, as a maybe a bit more beginner friendly or easier one so I'm I am working on that if you were the one that requested that if that sounds if you're also interested in that topic um, let me know I would love I would love to hear from you guys love to have a comment okay let me get out my idea book and I think what I'm going to do is um, I really liked how that one looked in the pocket. Let's see if I can find that pocket again. Isn't it fun to go back and see all the things that we've done? This pocket. I'm going to add this card to that pocket because I just really like it and I'll see it. And then I'm going to find us a page. We'll go to this page. And I am thinking... Um, which one do I want to put down? I may just add, I don't know. I don't know which one I want to glue down. Um, I kind of like to put, put these in pockets right now. Now, again, we could gl glue this right to the page. And I like the idea of letting it even, you know, it could come out the corner, the side, the top, and you get the little ruffles. Um, I've actually got ideas of what I might use these for. So I kind of don't want to necessarily um, put them in my idea book. Isn't that silly? Okay, I'm going to pick one. We're going to do it. We're going to put this one right here. And this one has paper, so it's going to be easier to glue it down. And there. And I'm going to write here um, fabric clusters page um, let's just say page decoration and um, tag toppers. With the heart, just because that makes me happy. This is my journal. This is my idea book. <laughs> okay, so that one should be fine since I was able to just glue it down with regular glue. Um, and then I can put another idea on here later. Okay, so I've got two in here. I love that. I think it looks really good. All right. I hope you guys liked these ideas. I hope you will make some. Um, 
Let me know if you do. And I hope everybody has a great day until next time.